There's nothing original about selling clothes on the web. That has been done for years. But is it time for the market to evolve into something more personal? Individual service tailored to each customer, the sort of thing you might get in a top store. Well, our next entrepreneurs hope so, as they think they've designed a way of delivering it online. Hello, we're in Clothed. My name's Levi Young. I'm Dana Zinger. And we're here today to look for £70,000 for 10% of our business. In Clothed is a premium online personal shopping service for men. Our customers want to look good and care about what they're wearing, but they don't have the time nor the inclination to go shopping. In Clothed fixes that problem. So the way it works is they come onto the website and they tell us a little bit about their size, their style, how they like their clothes to fit, and their budgets. Our software then delivers that into an individual profile of each man, which is then handed over to one of our expert stylists who creates a box of outfits and we deliver it to their door. And what they want, they keep, and what they don't, they put back in the box and we collect it. You only pay for the clothes you keep, and that's the exact same price you would in the shops. We have been going for just over a year, and in that time, we have secured just under 1,000 customers. And what's great is our customers love what we do. We have 70% of our customers coming back to Enclothe to order again. This year, we aim to achieve £530,000 in revenue, letting us break even. Next year's forecast seeing £1.2 million revenue with £230,000 profit. Thank you very much, and do you have any questions? Can I have a look at the box, please? Yeah. Hassle-free clothes shopping for men is the package on offer from Levi Young and Dana Zinger. They need £70,000 to help fund their online personal shopping business. For sale in return, is a 10% stake in their company. Kelly Hoppen is first to question the fashion-conscious entrepreneurs. Hi, Levi, I know you. Yes, briefly we met at... Um, your mum and dad. Yeah, you know my mum and dad. Yeah. yeah. Um, what I don't quite understand is when you say you send a complimentary box, mm -hmm. What does the customer actually do? Do they leave credit card details and then you send the goods out and then once they tell you what they're keeping, you then take the money from their account? That's, yeah, exactly. So we pre-authorise the card just like a hotel does and once we get the box back, then we see what they've kept and what they haven't kept, we then charge for the items they've kept. If I get this right, it's like the net port or the matches, the, it's that type of thing, but men are notoriously don't really enjoy their shopping experience so much. That's really what you're relying on. Yeah, ideally, it's, it's mostly about saving them time and the hassle. And what sort of margins are you getting on average on the product? So we work off a typical wholesale to retail margin on every, every, every item. But what's that in terms of percentage? What's the sort of margin percentage that you're working to? Yeah, um, yeah, it's the typical wholesale to retail margin. We can't actually disclose that. What do you mean? You We'd rather not explain the margin, the exact margin we make on the clothes. Well, we, we have to, because if you're having a conversation with me now about investing, how am I going to gauge whether this is a, an, a business that has really good potential or not if you don't tell me what the margin is? OK. So the average margin when I round it all up will be around 60%. Do you hold stock of all the clothes, or are you then just going to buy them from someone else? Yeah, so we work directly with the brands, so that means that we do hold stock. We make sure that we always have a month and a half worth of stock in the office. So how, 
much is returned from every order that you've had? So on average, we send out about eight to 10 items and typically a customer keeps on average 30% of it. What do you do with the returns? So they come back into the office and most of the time they, they circulate around our customer base. OK, so you do have a massive risk as you scale then in terms of your inventory control, don't you? It really could be a, quite a major problem to you if you have a 30% return rate. No. No, sorry. No. A kept rate of 30%. Kept, 30%. Kept, yeah, which means a return, yep. you're getting 30% back. 70% oh, no. back. 70% back. Back. back? Yes. What? Why? Wouldn't it be better to find out what the customer wanted first? We do find out what they want first. And we send them targeted recommendations of items. And the chances are some people have kept full boxes. But ultimately, they don't keep everything. But that's not the way the business model works. Yeah, but if you keep getting back 70%, it's taking you six months to sell that stock. Nah. No, and no, it's no. not that no. That's yeah. not what it is. That's it's back on the, in the warehouse. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it's back in the warehouse. What's it doing, though? Peter's not very good with business. He it doesn't know much about business. He's just learning. Listen, explain to me why I'm wrong. You, what you're saying is the stock is mounting up in the warehouse. It's not. The stock is getting recirculated. It's the same as at your shop. That's it. It's just a different mechanism. You go into a shop, you try stuff on, you think, I'm going to buy it, or you think, I'm not going to buy it, you put it back on the shelf, and it goes back into stock. If you have a 70% return rate, you're only ever selling 30% of the product that you're shipping out. So Marks and Spencer just get 70% of turn rate. So they they have not got anything like 70% no. turn rate. They'll have something like, on this base, it's a 99% return rate, because they'll walk into a shop, somebody will pick it up, try it on and return it immediately. Ultimately, we have terms in place with our suppliers, so we have credit terms, and we sell everything before then we pay for it. Um, so far, our purchasing decisions have been pretty good. We've been left with maybe 1% stock so the one percent you're left with is actually better than that because because part of that is sell and return yes right, okay. clarity and commendations on the business model from everyone except a skeptical peter jones but technology tycoon piers linney thinks he spotted the outfit's real usp the secret that everyone seems to be missing is the software because th that's what your business is about, it's a software business. That happens to have a shop bolted on the end of it. So how clever is this software? When it comes to the site, you know, if, if we send you a shirt that comes up too short in the arms and you return it, all that feedback goes back into the software to then tell us that these type of shirts in this cut do not fit you, then those shirts don't come up for our stylists to pick the next time that person has a box. Oh, OK. I mean, the, the interesting thing is that I know that if the first time I shopped with you, I liked if it was only 30% of it, you've already kind of hooked me. So I think you're onto a winner because inevitably, if you like to shop, which essentially somebody that's going to sign up with you likes clothing, you probably will have a success rate every time you send stuff. That's, yeah, exactly. Mm. By the way, I do like it. I, th I know I've given you a hard time, <laughs> but I do. I think you've done very well. Very, very well. Thank you. Relief all round as Peter Jones worries about leftover stock levels are stylishly boxed off. Now, Deborah Meaden wants to get to the bottom of how she might fit into their tailor-made business. What are you after? What was the thing that made you think, I'd love to have a dragon on board? One thing is definitely the experience and the added value that you all bring. Another is we recognise how important the software is to us and any, any help we can get with that. Yeah, and at the moment it's just the two of us and the achievements we want to make are, are big and hopefully someone could show us how we get there. You're going to get a lot of silence now. I know. I think it's a very cool idea. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you where I am then. I think you're both great. And I don't think you need all that much help. Um, I think you definitely need someone to help me in the software. And that's not me, that's not my forte. 
um, for that reason only, best of luck, but I'm up. Thank you. Thank you. A letdown for the entrepreneurs as Duncan Bannatyne declined the offer of investment. They've had a love-hate relationship with Peter Jones so far. What are his latest thoughts on the duo? I think you've done remarkably well. And I won't apologise for being a little bit controversial earlier because that's just the way I am. So I'm going to make you an offer. I am going to offer you all of the money. And I wrote down here 25%. And I've changed my mind because I think that you both are very good. So I'm only going to ask for 20%. Thank you. And this is hopefully the time where all the other dragons go out. A substantial offer from a once hostile Peter Jones. Will any of the other dragons also be in the mood to splash out? Right, I'll make you an offer. Um, I'd quite like a, a female dragon involved as well. So I'm going to make you an offer for half the money, but for 7.5%. So if somebody equaled that, it'd be 15%. Okay. Well, I'll make you an offer. Um, I will offer you the same as peers. So half the money for the same percentage. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to offer you all of the money for 15% or I'm happy to share the investment with either of the other parties. Okay. Do you want to have a think? Probably won't have a talk, do you? You can talk to yourselves at the back. Just by the lift. <laughs> I didn't expect that. So we were wondering if any of you would drop down to 6% and do half-half. I think 15 is fair. Do you know what? You've got an incredible business here, but there's a lot of work to be done. And I think the percentage relates to the amount of work that we've got to put in, regardless of the money that we've given you. It's time, and time is money. OK. Do you want to go back? No, no, no. We know what we're doing. Piers and Kelly, we want to say thank you and we'd love to yeah. accept your offer. And thank Brilliant. you yeah. for yeah. your offer as well. Really appreciate it. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. It's a deal. Very happy. Oh, Ooh. me too. Very happy. Thank well you. Thank you. Levi and Dana leave behind a couple of unsatisfied customers, but snap up two savvy dragons for the price of one in the process. Oh, God. Well done. I think well done. they made the right that. choice. They did, actually. Two, two dragons is better, yeah. than, better than one. Yeah, they did. Especially these two. Two is amazing to have. Yeah. And Piers is a software guy himself. Obviously, Kelly, design, and I really thought she can help us with our branding and marketing. So I think they're going to really, really help us. Thank you. 